What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you what to do with your hood after you've chopped it up for those high line fenders. Here we go. Now I've been reached out to by a lot of people on the channel about a lot of parts of my Jeep and one of the things that I've been asked about is specifically what I did with my hood after I went to a Highline Fender. Now, if you haven't paid attention before, I'm running the Motobuilt Highline Fenders on my Jeep, and I love them. But there's one thing, you have to chop your hood. And when you do that, you lose the factory location where your hood latches mount on the side of the hood. You can't use those anymore, you have to go to a new route. Now, you have a couple options. Here is what I decided I like the best. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now, if you come over here, you're gonna see the options that I've already tried and what I do and don't like in this setup. Here's what I've done. All right, so the first thing I tried were these, the standard hood pins, chrome. Now, this is an option that really is the simplest. You know it's going to work, it's very secure, and if you put a cable onto these, you're not gonna lose them, so you really have nowhere to go wrong with these, and they work just fine, but, Here's the thing I didn't like about them. When you have these on your hood, this is how they sit up. These pins are hanging up in the air really high, and I went with chrome, it's blinding on your hood, and I really hate how it just draws your attention right to it. It's a little more in the face on my hood than I really wanted. The hood pins, the standard hood pins, really were not my style. I don't like them, they were a little cheaper than I wanted to go with, and I just tossed those. It, they work if all you want is the cheapest option that will work great that is easy to cut in onto your hood and they'll do the job without fail you can do that that's fine but i have a better option and it's not going to cost you much more so the next thing i tried was this little button made by a company called steady on now i found the company on amazon you cut this into your hood and it becomes a button release for your hood and it uses these little pins that you put into your radiator core support and these pins slide into that button, they lock down, they have a spring on them to keep tension so you don't have a lot of bouncing around and it's a really cool product. And I've run these for about a year and they did the job really well, but I didn't take into account the kind of beat and abuse that I really was gonna put this thing through. So this thing's under a lot of abuse all the time between beating on the trail, bouncing around and driving down the road and the wind just trying to rip your hood off your Jeep anyway. So over the course of a year, I wore this thing out. I actually uh, damaged the bottom side of it and that again was my fault. I couldn't find the best way to lock this button down and it would eventually loosen up. I did eventually put red Loctite on which helped but I still had a hard time getting these buttons really tight onto the hood so they wouldn't slide around. But wait, I have a fix. Don't go with the one inch. This is your one inch option. They have something bigger. Like I said, I undervalued the size that I really needed for what I had and that brings in the two and a half inch button. This is made by the same company, Steadion. It is not expensive, you can find it on Amazon. They have really good support for their product as well. Now, the two and a half inch is fully redesigned. The spring is actually internal on this button instead of being on the pin. The pin is way bigger on the two and a half inch, a lot beefier, you are not gonna beat these things up. And you'll notice there's no spring on this setup. And that's because, like I said, it's inside. Now, here is the beautiful part about it. I mentioned that the one inch option, I really couldn't get tightened down onto my hood very well. Well, they solved that in the two and a half inch. They have a collar that slides up that two inch button. And when you get it into position and you insert this all thread that has a hex end on it, you run this inside and tighten it down onto this collar and it locks it onto the hood extremely tight so it has no option but to stay put. You can actually dig this thing into the hood and it's not going anywhere. So that solves two major problems that I had. Now this button has another option on it that I'll show you on the Jeep in just a minute. And whereas this little sucker 
it was it, the spring tension just wasn't nearly enough for the weight of the hood so i had to keep the button depressed while i was raising the hood to keep it unlocked the two and a half inch the spring is much beefier so once you press this button down it actually stays put and it actually pops your hood for you stays popped until you press back down on the hood so the spring tension on the two and a half inch is way better set for the weight of a jeep's hood okay so on the jeep this is what you're going to look like the one inch button look how sleek and small this is and that's why i really wanted to go with this in the first place most people who look at my Jeep don't even know it's there. And that's why I get so many questions asking me, how are you locking down your hood when you have a Highline fender? Well, this is what I'm using. And it's that awesome button setup. But like I said, look how when I'm pressing this down, it can't keep this thing depressed because the hood is just too heavy. And like I said before, it's, this one kind of slides around a little bit. I could never keep it locked down fully tight onto my hood. Now, you move over to the two and a half inch button, and yeah, it's larger. It, it, it is larger, and it sticks out, it's noticeable, and I tried reusing the location that I put the original hood pins at. It does have it hanging over this bend in the hood just a little bit. So I may do a little bit of moving around to try to clean this up a little bit. And check out, this got a lot stiffer spring tolerance. So when I press that button, it stays depressed until I'm ready to lift. Now I still have the one inch on this side and between the two of them, it's kind of a headache, but ah, there we go. That'll show you how that works you just depress the buttons lift up on your hood very secure and there's the ball that i was telling you about that's what's going to be holding your hood down so you don't have a lot to worry about about the wind picking this thing up when you're trailering your jeep down the interstate or you're just driving around town this hood is going to be solid now it was also solid with the one inch but it did have a little bit of up and down movement when the wind got heavy and that's because of that spring tension it just wasn't enough for the weight of this hood. So if you're going to be putting this on a Jeep, I really recommend you go with the two and a half inch. Even though the one inch is so much smaller and sleek, I really think the only way to go is that two and a half inch. And if you do that, you're gonna love it because I mean, it's super slick. Most people don't even notice it's there. It's a lot more discreet than your standard hood pins. And I get it, some people like those hood pin looks and that's cool, that's fine. But for me, I really wanted something that would just blend to the hood a little bit better. And that's what I've got. I love the design of this product. If you're interested in it, go check them out on Amazon. Guys, this is not a sponsored video. I don't earn a dollar for if you choose to buy these things or not. It's just me reaching out, answering some questions that have been sent to me. So if you have any further questions, write them down below or shoot me an email. I'll be happy to respond. I will leave a link in the description for this product so you can go check them out and hopefully this helps you. If you liked what you saw, consider liking and subscribing. It just lets me know that you're enjoying this and you're getting some value out of it. Guys, I hope you have a great day in the shop and I will see you on the trail.